morning guys it is currently 6 a.m i literally just woke up got dressed and i am going on a run so i'll catch you guys when i am back I just got back from my run. I showered and I'm gonna take this ginger shot that is from Trader Joe's. Ah. Ah. Oh my god, I went out of focus, but mm. now I'm awake before my coffee. So I totally forgot to introduce myself at the beginning of this vlog because it was literally 6 a.m. and I was out of it. But hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. It is currently 8.15 now and me and my parentals are going to leave the house around 9 to go cherry picking and we are meeting up with my aunt and my cousin and it should be fun. It's an hour drive and we have a 10 to 15 cherry picking slot because you have to reserve now because it just ensures that everybody is at a distance and that it's not too crowded in the fields. So I'm doing that today and yeah. I showered, I ran, I had my coffee. It is only 8.15 and I am feeling productive AF. I am wearing these necklaces. This one's from my mom, this one's from my best friend. I don't know where they're from. I'm wearing this black bodysuit that's from Boohoo. This bralette from Urban, cause I didn't want to wear an actual bra. I took it off from like the clips earlier. These shorts that are from Abercrombie, I believe. I've had these forever, but yeah, it's gonna be super hot where we're going, so gotta keep it comfy. And yeah, so I'm ready to take you guys along with me. I have so much energy, and yeah, hee <laughs> hee. So I showed you guys my outfit. Let me show you guys my mom's outfit. She's rocking the fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give him an outfit. Okay. Yeah. It's just. Well, where is it from? Where is this from? I forgot. Oh, it's from Mango. Yes, Mango. Yes. And then the pants, where are those from? Uh, Uniqlo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dad. He said, stop being annoying, basically. <laughs> Yep, very big, very rural, very farm-like. We got our bags and we have entered the orchard. That's my dad. And oh my goodness, look how cute. So our strategy is my cousin, Linda, getting on my shoulders and reaching for the strawberries, which was successful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The weather here is like really nice and oh my god more cherries Look how cute these are Look how cute Should I do it? I'm gonna eat one <laughs> Okay, 
The bag is slightly getting heavier. We're gonna keep digging. Linda's literally in the freaking tree. Can you even hey. see her? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, uh, now I'm on a ladder. Huh. Vlogging on a ladder. <laughs> Look at the gold that we hit over here, guys. Woo. It's literally only 11 and cherries are picked. The workout is done. All I have to do for the rest of the day is just chillax and do my essay. I'm so full. <laughs> How many cherries have you eaten? I ate like, I ate like 50. <laughs> 50? Okay, I didn't eat that I many. So, many. <laughs> so we are just about done and yeah i'm excited to see how much all the cherries weigh out to be this so many. looks like literally a baby <laughs> so we're back in the car because it's hot as heck and the line for the cherries is really long so we're here it's literally only 11 30 but it but we've been up it's since so early. like i've been up for like five and a half hours <laughs> Like this. We love balls <laughs> in our face. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm home now. It's around 1 p.m. I changed into this sorority recruitment shirt because it's comfy. There's my doggo sweet boy. <laughs> and I'm making cauliflower pizza. I am so tired. I've literally been up since 6 a.m. I know I don't seem tired, but I am. <laughs> And I'll show you guys the pizza. I'm gonna eat that, take a nap maybe, and then work on a midterm essay. I know, summer classes move fast and it's like midterm already. So I'm just gonna do that and should be a chill rest of the day. Look at the cauliflower pizza I made. And the cheese did not melt all the way because it is vegan cheese and it kind of burnt, but I bet it still tastes great. I put pesto, mushrooms, tomatoes, spinach, and vegan cheese that is from Trader Joe's. It's the almond shreds one. And yeah, I'm so excited to dig in. Okay, so I just cut myself a slice. It's like falling apart because it's like really thin. Ooh, focus. Ooh, she looks good. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I put some red chili flakes. So it's a little spicy. Oh. 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 It's good. I highly recommend like all the cauliflower products from Peter Joe's. Gnocchi, crust, the whole shebang. So it is around 5.30 now and I've just been, you hear that? <laughs> and I've just been working on my English essay and this class is actually protest poetry, which is very relevant in our society today. But it is protest poetry from the Harlem Renaissance to Kendrick Lamar, which is modern day. And I'm currently writing about Langston Hughes, who is a huge figure within the Harlem Renaissance and his poetry is so powerful and speaks a lot of truth okay i'm gonna geek out a little bit right now but he basically writes a lot about the american civil rights and how america promises so many equal opportunities for everyone but obviously that is not the case as so many minorities and especially black people aren't given these same opportunities and are constantly being dragged down by systematic racism and the underlying structures of our society that has been created all throughout history so no racism cannot be freaking erased within a few days a week a social media post because it is literally decades and centuries of cruel and gruesome history that attacks black people okay anyway i will be linking below 
a couple of his poems that I think everybody should go read. But also, I want to remind you guys that you can not only be an ally through social media, but you could also be an ally to the Black Lives Matter movement through literature and supporting Black authors and educating yourselves through literature. Because anyone can post a Black square on Instagram and not understand the meaning behind that, but if you actually read literature that has been written by minorities and black people then you're gaining more insight and perspective on what they go through and how that is so different from your lives so that is all thank you for coming to my ted talk um i'm a literary geek so yeah i'll be linking below my favorite authors and poets who are african-american they're great and amazing hi guys it is ooh, got a text message it is now sunday around 3 p.m i'm just finishing up my essay from yesterday i'm over halfway done i have my second coffee of the day i already had one of these today and then i went to get more so yeah um just gonna keep working on my essay and then keep you guys updated hi friends so it's now 6 30 i finished my essay i ate dinner and i've literally just been trying to learn this tiktok dance the <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to learn that and I look ridiculous, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. <laughs> Hopefully this angle is okay. Um, I'm gonna play it. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was not it. Currently watching How to Get Away with Murder while I meal prep for this upcoming week. It's just broccoli, tomatoes, mushrooms, and I season it with paprika and garlic salt. So get your veggies in, but very deliciously. <laughs> I put the veggies in here because I think I want to make a frittata. Is that what it's called when it's like veggies and egg? But I'm gonna use egg whites instead because lower calorie and gotta get rid of these before they expire. So I'm gonna pour that all up and then bake it at 350 for like 20 minutes. Yep. I did a bad thing. I poured truly in grapes and I'm gonna let them soak overnight so they're alcoholic grapes so it's like 11 now i took the frittata egg veggie thing out of the oven and i did add a little bit of cheese on top and it smells and looks so good i can't wait to have some of this tomorrow but it's late and i have asian glow from half of the truly i drank yep lightweight as frick because i haven't gone out or drank in like two months but i'm gonna end the vlog here if you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm a little tipsy and i'll see you guys in the next video good night <laughs>